Are you working on writing a research paper or a proposal? Sometimes the worst proposals I have seen are that bad because they are written like research papers. But there are three important differences between a research paper and a proposal that are important for you to know before you start writing either. The first important difference is the time frame. In a research paper, this should always be written after you've completed all of the data that is going to go into that research paper so that you know exactly what you're going to write about and you're able to complete that research paper more quickly. On the other hand, a proposal is all about research that's going to be done in the future. And so you should be writing it before you ever start working on that research. And so this is going to be done more in future tense where you're talking about what research can be accomplished in the future and how you're going to accomplish that research. The next major difference between a research paper and a proposal is their purpose. So for a research paper, the purpose is to share the data that you've collected and explaining the importance of that data to the field at large. On the other hand, a proposal's purpose is very different. So for a proposal, you want to convince experts that your idea is important, novel, and sound to make sure that it can be done. So to make sure that's done, you need to show exactly how you would accomplish that research that is going to be proposed. And finally, the overall purpose of a proposal is to explain to experts why they should give you money to complete the research that you're trying to do. The third major difference between a research paper and a proposal is the structure of it. If you're working on a research paper, again, check out my guide at scientificresearchpaperchecklist.com. For a research paper, you want it to be structured generally how you write any type of paper about research. So first you want to have the introduction, then you're going to do your methods and cover exactly what you did to generate that data. You'll have the results where you just explain what all the data you found was, the discussion where you're explaining the importance of that data, and then the conclusion where you summarize everything and tell people what you think should be done next. And then you can take what should be done next and write a proposal about it. However, a proposal structure is very different. Where in a proposal, you want to give background information so that the experts that are reading it may be experts in wide ranges of field. And so you're making sure that they know what they need to know to understand your research and see how important and novel your research is. Once you've gone through the background, you then want to show your research plan. And in this, you generally have between two and four aims. And these are different parts of your project that are going to be able to get done, but are self-sustaining. So if you kind of think about it, each one of your aims should probably end up in a paper. So within each aim, you should have kind of an introduction for why that aim matters, the methodology of how you're going to complete that aim, the expected results that you're going to get within that aim, and then also backup plans or alternative approaches for how you're going to make sure that that research gets done, even if you get challenges along your way to completing that research. Once you've finished your entire research plan and all of your aims, you then want to have an impact and future directions. So you want to make it super clear to your reader exactly why what you're studying is important and the impact it's going to give to the field and to society. And then if what you're proposing is actually accomplished, what would be the next steps the field should take or you should take in order to keep the research going afterwards? If you write your proposal in that way, it's going to give you a really nice structure for allowing the reader to understand the importance, how novel your idea is, and how likely it is to be achieved, and the fact that you know what you're talking about in achieving it. And comment below and let me know which of these three differences spoke to you, and which are you going to make sure that you're including in your next proposal to make sure it's a really, really great proposal. I hope you liked this video, and if you did, hit the like button and subscribe to my channel for more information on how to survive graduate school. And I will see you guys in the next video.